Now you go to prostration. And going to prostration, you're going to meet the ground with your hand first. Okay? So you're going first in your hands. After this, your knees touch the ground. After this, your forehead going to go down. This is the position, prostration. He recited the dua, saying, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Notice in this position that my forehead as well as my nose are touching the ground. My hands are facing the Qibla. My fingers are close to each other. My foot is close and the toes tilted towards the Qibla. Again, forehead and nose touching the ground. My feet together my toes is towards the Qibla. Now I'm going to sit on my left foot. So, and my right foot is going to be erected with toes facing the Qibla. Watch this position for sitting between two prostrations. And saying, Allahu Akbar. Your hands in your thigh, your side in the place of prostration. This foot is erected with toes facing the Qibla. And I say the dua, Rabbi Ghfilli, Rabbi Ghfilli. Go again and repeat sujood to the second time and saying Allahu Akbar Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la Allahu Akbar. Now I finish one section of the prayer, which we call it one rak'at. For me to go up to the second session or sec second sec uh, section of the prayer and repeat like what I did in the first rak'at by using my fist against the ground to support me to stand up, pick up my knees, and get up. Allahu Akbar. And you repeat what you did in the first rak'ah again by reciting Al-Fatiha. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Malik Yawm Al-Deen. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم سمع الله لمن حمده 
ربنا ولك الحمد الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر رب فلي رب فلي رب فلي الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي سبحان ربي اللهم الله اكبر جلسه فور تشهد raise your finger the index finger while your thumb and the middle finger in a form of a circle pointing towards the qibla and say التشهد the left hand is in the thigh التحيات لله والصلوات والطيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد أفتر ذي السيك رفيوج إن الله بيسين ذا دعاء اللهم إني أعوذ بك من عذاب جهنم ومن عذاب القبر وفتنة المحيا والممات ومن فتنة المسيح الدجال Ending your prayer by turning your face to the right side and say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah And to the left and say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Now you're ending a prayer consists of two rak'at It is also necessary that you take into consideration certain aspects of making the Salah. First, make sure that you are praying at the correct time. Second, certain body parts have to be covered. A woman should be covered from head to toe with the exception of her face and hands if she chooses to uncover them. A man should be covered from the shoulders to the knees. Third, the place in which you perform the prayer must be free of any impurity. Fourth, the clothes that the worshiper wears must also be clean and free of impurity. After meeting these preconditions, you are ready to perform the prayer. Worshippers should turn their bodies toward the Kaaba, the sacred house at Mecca, making certain their feet are pointing straight at the Qibla and are shoulder wide. Directing the face toward the Qibla is an imperative condition for every Salah. Second, the individual about to pray should make a